Hey everybody, John from RideUpstate.com. I generally don't like to do in-car driving videos, but I am short for time, and I figure I gotta get at least one video up this week. I wanna talk a little bit about a video that Dustin is driving shared from New York City Uber Log. I think that's what it was. I'm gonna link both of their channels down below. You probably know who Dustin is, and maybe you know who New York City Uber Log is right now. Anyway, Dustin was showing this video of how in New York City now, drivers are required to pick their schedules and what it looks like in Uber. Now I'm in upstate New York, small market. We don't have to worry about that right now because the TLC doesn't affect us up here. But given the fact that AB5 passed and there's, there's this tendency for New York to follow California when it comes to laws and things like that, we could see us being classified as drivers, as, as employees, as drivers here, um, which I, I don't want. I like being an independent contractor. I do this part-time. I don't want to have to be restricted to certain shifts. Now, that being said, if I can get out and get ahead of all of this and pick my own shift and say, hey, I want to drive from this time to this time, I'm cool with that. I'm okay with doing that as long as I don't have to yield to other drivers. Now, right now, I'm, I'm an Uber Gold driver. I don't have a ton of rides. I got about 230 rides. Um, I have an over 90% acceptance rate. I have a cancellation rate under 4%. And I've got a 4.99 star rating. So even though I don't have a ton of rides, everything else looks pretty good as far as Uber is concerned. But it looks like they're giving preference to people who have given over a thousand rides and who have certain ratings and acceptance ratings, which I don't blame them. They want to have the best riders on the platform. However, I think that this market is small enough that I could actually get out and get those times that I want. So again, I normally drive, I've said this before, I normally drive my commute into work. So between 6 and 8 a.m. And then on my commute home. If I could hit those times, if I could get rides those times and I can still use my destination filters and I can get the rides that I want, then I would be happy with that. I would have no problem at all with having to ride on a schedule, drive on a schedule. DoorDash does that right now, where if you don't, if it's not busy in an area, you have to select scheduled times to drive. I don't have a problem with that. This market that I'm in, here in upstate New York, is not going to have times like in New York City where all of a sudden there's going to be a high demand for drivers and they're going to allow us to go online. There's a few times of the year when that happens, but for the most part, I think that would really strap a lot of other drivers in the market, especially the ones that don't drive full time, like myself, where we just want to go on make a couple hundred bucks a week when we have the time to do it and then jump off. It's going to hurt us more, I think, than the people who are trying to do this full time. So I'm interested in hearing what your thoughts are, especially if you're in a small market. If you're in a small market, would you be in favor of shifts or would you be against shifts? I'm kind of on the fence about it. I'd like to be able to know that, hey, I can go online at this time and I preserve my spot. But on the other hand, I also don't want to lose the ability to go on whenever I want to. So I don't, I don't know what to think of all this. 
as always, thank you for watching these videos. If you like what you've seen, please subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell to get notifications for when I post a new video. And remember, just because you're in a small market, it doesn't mean you have to settle for small profits.